know they gotta chill I pull out the tool, I may pop for real I been running bad like I got the steel What's going down, Clutch Squat! What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Dup. It's your boy Ross. We are in there. But I don't know what that was. <laughs> Back at you, ladies and gentlemen, with another video. You feel me? I'm already getting spooked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Five scary things caught on camera in the woods. First and foremost, I not going to catch me in the, the woods, woods. man. <laughs> so there we go. Video's over. See you next time. All right. <laughs> Comment down below. Subscribe. <laughs> not going to catch me. And the crazy thing is, my dad, he stays in College Station, so he stays by, like, some wooded areas and stuff. Mm -hmm. Best believe, I as a kid, bro, just driving down those, like, those lonely-ass roads where there's no streetlights, bro, God, it's some of the scariest stuff. Your imagination start taking over real quick, bro. Oh, yeah. So, a lot of times, I never... Reality to, hit. I would only, like, if we ever went to his crib, I would only come out, like, in the daytime, bro. Because at nighttime, I wouldn't try to do nothing out there, bro. Because it's just wooded areas and grass, trees. Yeah, that's, that's, I got a lot of family that live in small towns. And mm -hmm. when I tell you... That street light shit, you you better appreciate it if you do have one. Yeah, boy. Bro. At night, and then they keep the porch light off so that way the bugs won't be yeah. swarming around mm -hmm. it. And so one, as soon as they hit them lights for you to come in the house or whatever, you don't Ooh. know what's hitting you, bro. You mm -hmm. just hope Bigfoot himself ain't attacking your yeah, ass. So, so we're back by popular demand. You guys wanted us to check out some more of the Nuke Town. Nuke Town. Nuke <laughs> Top I'm scared, too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm scared of Call of Duty, man. That, that nuke town, man, gave me nightmares. But yeah, we're about to get into this right now. So make sure you comment them down below. Subscribe into the channel. Let's get us to 700K and then to a milli. And then, uh, yeah. Let's see if we get spooked, man. Mm. It's the music. The effect. Now, five scary things caught on camera in the woods. Good on it. Not a happy Straight. camper. The YouTube channel Project Amber follows the travel exploits of a British guy named CJ and his dog Lance. Aww, Basically, so CJ Lance. travels to bizarre and remote locations all over Europe and camps there in his van for several nights. Just him and Lance. Wow. Project Amber is a very entertaining travel channel, but is not paranormal in the least. In fact, there's not one video on the channel that contains anything remotely supernatural, except for this one video. CJ is camped out in a very yes. remote area of the French countryside. Oh, He's trying, trying to fix his camper fridge when suddenly his dog Lance, who is just off screen, starts to act very strange. Right. Now I'm sure with house fridges you're supposed to... Yeah. Right, so I'm pretty sure with a house fridge, if you move it, you're supposed to leave it like 12 or 24 hours. So I'm going to give it the full 24 hours, I think, to work. Uh, what are you looking at? You keep freaking me out, doggy. There's no one over there. Nervous <laughs> laugh. Yep. Have you seen someone? I'm not. <laughs> CJ then yeah, reveals the why game. the dog's behavior is giving him the creeps. There's actually a well. Just where I'm parked, you go down this little track, and there's a well with a big metal bar on it. And uh, originally I was going to go and park there, and I saw the well. Instantly started thinking about the ring, which when I was about, I was about, I think it was about 10 when it came out. Yeah, so it's on the park Scared somewhere different. Out of me for like a month, I didn't sleep properly. Mm -hmm. And now the dog keeps looking over in that direction of where it is. So I'm like, nah, mate, I might move. <laughs> yeah, you may want to move, my guy. But I can't. That evening, as the sun begins to set, yes, you can. things mm -hmm. get even more bizarre. Okay, I'm seriously freaked out now. Um, a minute ago, I could hear like really loud moaning, like, uh, like just booming across the mountains. So I've come down to where I could hear it. I uh, got to this old well, and it stopped. I mean, that thing's wild freaky. It's like something out of the ring. But just as soon as I got here, just from over there, there's no track or anything. It's just wood. This girl appeared, dressed like kind of like a monk, uh, no shoes, no hair. So I said bonjour and that, and she re responded. Um, I asked if she was okay, but she didn't respond then. She just carried on walking. Um, so I carried on a bit and thought, I better double check. Went to go and find her again. She's gone. So up that way, that's where my van is. And that goes Time to the go. road. <laughs> but down where she went that way, my there's Lance. nothing. My there's Lance. nothing. Let's get out of here. That's it. Where did she go? 
I'm gonna leave. Yeah. Thank you. CJ says that Should've his dog Lance that. usually happily runs over to meet new people, but the spaniel wouldn't go anywhere near the bizarre bald girl. He's scared too. He like, come on, bro. A little later, me? CJ spots the girl again. He records her in the distance, aimlessly walking through the countryside woods. CJ says that he saw the girl again later, but didn't have the chance to record. Uh, I saw the girl another two times. Yeah, the last time I was yeah, near the is. van, and she was running through the forest. And with that, CJ has had enough. He just gets out of there. I booted it. I'm about 50 miles from there now. But I left. I was gone. I was gone so fast. Wow. I didn't fast even pack enough. the van away. It wasn't fast enough. Um, yeah. Oh, there, that thing was down fast. <laughs> so, it's Yo! He knocked no. shit over. You good back there, Lance? When he say he booted out of there, you good back there, Lance? Hold on, Lance. Lance, no. Hold oh, on. Shit. That nigga booted, bro. Um, yeah. It's a pretty big mess in there. Shit, boy. So, did CJ have you, a Lance. run in with a ghost in the remote French countryside? That would have been me that first time, Lance. Let me Lance. know what you think. On the channel Mindseed TV, oh, the guys are trekking me? through the woods Lance. late at oh, night okay, to okay, find okay. an abandoned, I said it like you supposedly haunted home, but... group of buildings deep in the. <sighs> y'all love y'all forest, man. The results but, I mean, strongly Lance, support like, that these he, he just likes to, you know, go out are not camping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's nice a little different. Camera. That's his vibe. Yeah. Forest. This is. But on their hike through the woods, they encounter something much scarier than a ghost. <laughs> they both Someone hit seems to be following them in the dark. I don't feel bad. Nope. I feel bad for Lance and Lance. Yeah. The dude. You know what I'm saying? We keep calling the dude. Well, uh, the dog can't do that. Dude, it's These God. dudes, really? not, yes. not so no. much. Dude, I swear to God. Yeah. I'm not kidding you. It came from that way. When you can't Ew. see shit but your light, that means you're not even supposed to be there. Go. A person whistles from somewhere in the trees. Nevertheless, the guys keep going and eventually reach their destination. An abandoned building deep in the forest. Fucking worse. They're now suspicious that someone might be stalking them through the woods. They set up a makeshift warning system using bells attached to fishing line to alert them if someone approaches. So we got the whole area right. going crazy all night. Ding, 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 ding. With fishing string and bells. These bells are all the way around this whole building. So that way, who got uh, time to do all this? If shit? anybody approaches us, in any kind of direction, we'll be able to hear it. So now we're gonna go inside and we're gonna set up the cameras. And what the sh was that, dude? That wasn't like a little See, branch breaking. That's what makes. You know what? I didn't believe your bear theory. There's. Dude, I said we dude. get in the building. Let's do what we got to do. Let's stay in the building. Right. We already have the perimeter set up now. So whatever that was, like if it gets close, that was worse than the whistle. We'll hear the bells. Yeah, that was, that, worse was than worse. that was worse than the whistle. Let's go in the building. Let's go in the building. They perform their usual parapsychology tests and get a few odd results, Look but nothing much. So. They decide to leave. Then this happens. All right, so we just finished all our sessions in there. Unfortunately, uh, we're not really sure if we did find anything. I don't think that we did. We're going to review a lot of it in the video editing program. Uh, we did get a little bit lost <laughs> off track, but I think so. that we're on the right path now. And I would say we're probably about uh, we're probably about 10 minutes to the road. Oh. Oh, you would have seen this. Yeah, bro. Uh, you wouldn't have saw that. I wouldn't have been out there. Honestly, yeah. Yeah. No, it's in my pocket. Grab it. Let's, let's, let's start moving. Let's move. Let's, let's move. Let's move. Let's move. That was definitely the f***ing bell, bro. That was more f***ing wind. No. I just don't want anything creeping up on us. No. I really don't want anything creeping up on us. But that heart rate was... This is the most uncomfortable I've probably ever been in my whole entire life. Do you, you hear a little crackle? Why are we stopping? Why are we stopping? I don't know, dude. That sounded close. You know what? I said we hurry up a little bit. Yeah. Get out of here. Get the hell no shit! Nigga say hurry up. Get the hell. Seemingly, someone walks over their warning line, causing the bells to jingle. They make a run for it and get back to their car safely, 
but the two are still very shaken up by the whole ordeal. I had to cut the camera off for a minute. I really needed to figure out where we were going and uh, we needed to get out of there quickly because uh, I'm pretty sure we were being followed just now. The whistle, that means two things to me. One, you had to have known that we were there or heard us, seen us in your flashlights, whatever. Yeah. And two, he was confident enough to whistle knowing like, yo, nothing's gonna happen to me. You can watch the full video as well as their other paranormal investigations I'm over good. on Mind Seed TV. Hi. You go, you go looking see. for shit, you gonna find this it. This next clip is one of those obscure videos that's been on the internet for years, but not too many people have seen it. Now, the story goes that a guy named Mike had been seeing something oh, walking near the tree line of the woods that surround his home. Oh. See, I never wanted to live by Did you know you can like go to LibertyMutual.com like, like, to customize your car insurance it. so you only pay you know, for what you need? There's really? nothing worse than you just in the kitchen or whatever looking out the window watching some shit. And then you just you see need. Bigfoot I in the oh. in the tree line just... All right, honey, bro. We got to move. Hitting the <laughs> he over there hitting the June bug. <laughs> <laughs> Bigfoot in that home. Run and get started. Hey. <laughs> I do shit. Don't eat the plug. Hey. Ride with the cool I'm coming for you. Coming for you. I'm coming for you. Oh, oh. Coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yo. All you gonna see me is packing up stuff. Yeah, yeah. Getting the kids, getting blondie. Yeah, we, we out, bro. <laughs> we in the car just. My truck gonna be looking like Lance and them. <laughs> The dog lands. One night, the he decides to grab a flashlight and, and, and go to lands. investigate. <laughs> Your light already faulty. I'm gonna go turn around. You're breathing too heavy. Way too. Like a creature or some sort of stuff. I have no idea what it is, but just like this. Sweet. What the fuck? Oh, <laughs> so this started. is a pretty old video, and even that. though I researched, I can't even confirm the original source. But it's definitely Look creepy, that. and I don't know what that is. So, nah, bro. is it a real creature caught nah, on camera, bro. or just a fake? I don't fucking know. As dope. always, you decide. Run and get it started. Hey, Uninvited guest. Oh, he plug. On the German YouTube channel iBlolly, these three guys, Tony, Vic, and Nia, are exploring a supposedly haunted abandoned hotel. They are all alone in the deep woods surrounding the building. And as you might expect, they're a bit nervous. Yo, I have something heard, no? What was that? Ich hab keine Ahnung, lass weg jetzt, da war was. The trio catches some creepy noises, but not much else. Or at least that's what they thought. When they posted the video online, viewers noticed something absolutely chilling. Now keep in mind when you watch this clip that there were only three guys exploring the hotel. And they were all alone, miles into the forest. Da ist irgendwas drin. Something happens. Da ist ein Stuhl da hinten. Das ist ein Stuhl oder so. Ich würde da nicht reingehen, weil stell dir mal vor, das stürzt ein oder so. Oh, das ist voll schlimm, Alter. Geht halt ohne mich. Did you see it? Oh. Das ist voll schlimm, Alter. Geht halt ohne mich. One of the guys' cameras accidentally catches what Whoa. looks to be someone just standing there, motionless in the dark, what the watching fuck? them. They posted a follow-up video soon after. Die Zuschauer auf Twitter haben uns unter anderem darauf hingewiesen, dass wir ja anscheinend nicht alleine waren. Bei ungefähr 4 Minuten 14 war halt eine weitere Person zu sehen. Und das war definitiv keiner von uns, weil man sieht auf dem Video, dass Nia und ich wesentlich weiter vorne stehen. Wir, wir sind ja das Video auch Frame by Frame durchgegangen und haben das auch heller gestellt und wirklich mal geschaut. Vor Ort, man sieht, das ist definitiv ein Oberkörper, man sieht yeah, auch die Jacke. Ähm, anscheinend trägt er Jeans und weiche Schuhe. Yeah. Aber das war halt niemand von uns, weil hier laufe ich zu Nia und Toni und die sind ganz woanders und äh, haben auch andere Sachen an. Ich bin einfach extrem froh, dass wir da heil raus sind. So, ich meine, das hätte sonst sein können. Ja. Ja. Jetzt, ihr müsst mir überlegen, wir waren einfach mitten im Wald, so nachts in so einem verlassenen fucking Waldhotel und da war einfach eine vierte Person und wir haben den erst im Nachhinein in den Aufnahmen if you can speak a little German, you can check out the you full paranormal investigation of the haunted left. hotel in the woods over on the iBlolly YouTube channel. People As like always, thanks for watching. You can suggest or submit videos at newstopvibe at gmail.
Straight. I'm good on it, bro. I'm so good. You ain't gonna worry <laughs> about me. That nigga went to that oh, tree line. All he heard was. Ah! And that then saw <laughs> <laughs> That nigga hey. hit the best, the best June bug. Hey. Oh, nah, bro. I've been I'm, waiting for you. I'm good, bro. I'm, I'm good on that, man. You hey, ain't finna catch me in none of these for scenarios. For those who <laughs> like the thrills of going into dark wooded <laughs> places, that's, that's. That's for you. Me, I, I, I like to know <laughs> where I'm going and, you know what I'm saying, be able to see my surroundings and there's light. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Maybe Thanks. maybe I can call someone, have great cell service. Hey, yo! <laughs> so, Some shit going on back here, man. I don't know what it is, but. Yeah, I'm, I'm good on it, though. I ain't, You ain't got to worry about me doing none of that. I'm trying to tell you right now. We keep ourselves away from certain situations mm-hmm. because I feel like when you go looking for something, you, you find, it, find it, and Sometimes. you never know what it is you might be finding. Like my man, he wasn't even looking for something. Could have sliced your neck off, and just, like they said, you miles away from anybody else in an abandoned hotel. Mm-hmm. Really? Come on, man. That's yeah. a scenario that's come on. Yeah. Putting cheese out there for miles, miles to just come and tear it up. Facts. But now, uh, if y'all enjoyed those videos, man, I know it's been a long time since we checked out one. Uh, run the likes up, man. We'll see if Ross is okay with editing them by itself alone. <laughs> because he does have to sit there. He probably gonna have all. He probably gonna edit it during the daytime. I'm gonna do it while I'm on live. <laughs> so if y'all see me on live. Or that's the worst time. Video, that's the worst time. I'm gonna do it all out. Because then somebody will be like, Ross, what is that? I see a shadow behind your shoebox back there. <laughs> man, nah, bro. I'm gonna have to have my little recording key light on, man. Okay. I'm gonna have, you know what I'm saying? Have some Drake playing in the background. What's next? <laughs> we good. Oh, we see what's next. <laughs> when fear beats editing. But nah, <laughs> we love y'all, man. Stay safe out there, man. Continue to spread love and be that same love that you spread. You Facts. feel me? And never forget. We in the clutch, baby. Already. Even where you used to be in this, been through that, reminiscing on my past. I found bliss in the way that I carry on my back. Let my soul sing my song. It goes, ooh, na, 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 na. I still rose from all my lows. I say, ooh, na, na, na.